Hello, this is Dr. David Green, CEO of the Colorado Pain Network. The topic today is an overview of medial branch blocks. Back and neck pain affects 90% of Americans at some point in life. Back pain is the second most common reason people see a doctor just behind the common cold, and it's the leading cause of disability in those under the age of 45. Up to 40% of those who undergo back surgery are unsuccessful. The cost of back and neck pain in the U.S. exceeds $100 billion a year. The facet joints of the back and the neck are at every level. So what you can see here is the back of the spine and then the facet joints are these small thumbnail sized joints on both the left and the right side. Okay, And they contain cartilage just like other mobile joints like the hip and the knee and they're prone to arthritis. Even though they're small they can be a big source of pain. Okay, Trying to diagnose the cause um, of the pain in the back is not so easy. Here's a CAT scan that shows, see this joint here and over here? They look great actually. There's a nice joint space, there's not a lot of bony overgrowth, but then when you see them here, there's minimal joint space, a lot of bony overgrowth, all right, a lot of loss of cartilage. Um, so when you see something like this, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to hurt though, okay? But the workup includes a history, listening to the patient's um, symptoms, then performing a physical, um, and then x-rays, and then either a CAT scan or an MRI uh, can be helpful. The medial branches, uh, this is where, where they are. Okay, so this is a nerve root coming out from the spine, okay? And you see this little nerve endings that come off here? That's called a medial branch, and that actually supplies sensation to these joints, the facet joints. They don't actually do any motor function, these medial branch nerve endings, they're solely sensory. Okay. There's one coming from below here, there's actually another one coming down from above. But you can actually see that here. See how it's coming down? And this one's coming up. Those are the medial branch supply to the joint. So a medial branch block is performed for two reasons. First is diagnostic. If you want to see if this joint is causing a person's back pain, then you can apply the numbing medicine and steroid around where the medial branch nerve endings are. And if it works, then you can, the pain doctor can say, ah, this joint was a cause of the person's pain. And the other one's therapeutic. Medial branch block can provide months of pain relief as well. So a pain doctor will use image guidance, which is a fluoroscopy, real-time x-ray, to make sure they're putting the needle in the right place. Um, some use simply numbing medicine, others put steroid in it. It's an outpatient procedure, it lasts about 20 minutes, um, and you really don't even need sedation for this. The diagnostic part helps pain doctors figure out if the joint is the source of the pain. If the injections work well and then wear off after a few weeks to a few months, a radiofrequency ablation can be performed for long-term pain relief. And what that will do is it puts a needle in the same area, but actually radiofrequency energy gets put through it and deadens these nerve endings. And that can last for 6 to 18 months of pain relief. Therapeutic part of medial branch blocks is studies show that the average pain relief is over 3 months. That's amazing. The procedure works well in 85% of patients. And if it works and then wears off, one can move on to a radio frequency ablation or just simply have it repeated. Studies show that uh, uh, repeat procedure works just as well. And the radio frequency ablation, um, as mentioned, can be 6 to 24 months of pain relief, but it heats up and kills these medial branch nerve endings uh, rather than just putting uh, numbing medicine around them. Now, the medial branch nerve endings will often grow back, and the pain may come back with it, but you can actually repeat the radio frequency ablation deaden those nerve endings again and studies show it works just as well the second time around. Colorado Pain is the top pain management clinics in the Metro Denver area. Over 50 insurances are accepted by the board certified award-winning pain doctors. The number to call for treatment is 720-306-9575 and visit us on the web at painmanagementdenverco.com. You simply will not be able to find a better back and neck pain treatment center in the Denver area. 
I'm Dr. David Green with the Colorado Pain Network. Your pain stops here.